welcome to my video on distributive review and combining like terms. Now notice uh, we have symbols here so I just use letters and notice that just a quick review of distributive property notice the um, outside letter or number can come in the front of the parentheses or after the parentheses and it's still the same thing you distribute it to both letters or numbers inside the parentheses. Okay, so look at the example with numbers. We have the 3 getting distributed to the 2 and the 5. And we have the 4 after the parentheses, and it's also getting distributed to the 9 and the 7. So just make sure you remember to distribute to both parts. Okay, so we have 5 times 7 plus 2. So remember, okay, we're going to distribute. So this is going to equal 5 times 7 plus 5 times 2. Now since I have all numbers, I can actually go a step further. So 5 times 7 is 35, and 5 times 2 is 10, and what's 35 plus 10? 45. So this would equal 45. And that would be simplifying it all the way, or evaluating it all the way. Whoops. Okay, so let's look at the next example. We have 16 minus 7 times 3. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3 to the 16. And it doesn't matter if I write 3 times 16 or 16 times 3 because I'm using the commutative property. Minus 3 times 7. And I'm distributing, but when I mean by commutative properties, I can write 3 times 16 or 16 times 3. And I can write 3 times 7 or 7 times 3. It's the same thing. Okay, so 3 times 16 is 48. And 3 times 7 is 21. So I can actually figure that out. And when I subtract 48 minus 21, I get 27. Okay, the next one. I distribute the 12 to the 4, so 12 times 4, plus 12 times 3. What is 12 times 4? 48. And 12 times 3 is 36. And 48 plus 36 is 84. Okay, now those were all numbers. So we could evaluate those. Now we're going to simplify because we just have numbers and letters. So we're going to distribute, and then that'll be as far as we can go. So let's look at this one. And you, we saw an example of this in our video the other day that we watched. So we're going to distribute the 4 to the 2x. What's 4 times 2x? Good, it's 8x. So we're just going to write 8x. And what's 4 times 7? 28. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. We have 8 times 3a. So what's 8 times 3a? 24a. Minus, we have 8 times 6b. So 8 times 6 is 48. And put the b in. And 8 times 12 is 96, so we're going to have plus because we have a plus sign, and we're going to stick the C after it. So 24A minus 48B plus, 26, plus 96C. And go ahead and circle that one as well. Okay, so we have parts of expressions because we are going to get into combining like terms, so we need to understand these terms first. Okay, so... We have a term, a number, a variable, or product, or quotient of numbers and variables. Okay, so here would be an example. We'll do a number and variable, so 6ab. Come up with an example on your own. Okay, good. 
terms that have the same, so like terms are terms that have the same variable and exponent. So let's see. 2x squared and 7x squared. Okay, come up with your own example. Make sure they have the same variable and same exponent. They do not have to have the same number in front. But same variable and same exponent. Good. Now, coefficient. The number in front of the variable. So I'm going to write 5n, and I'm going to draw an arrow to the 5. So come up with your own example and draw an arrow to the number in front of the variable. Okay, so now let's combine like terms. So anytime we see terms that are alike, we're going to combine them. So we got to study the variable and the exponent. So here we see 3x. Okay, do we see anything else with just an x? Good, we see this one. So we need to circle what's in front of it. So 3x plus 5x is 8x. Okay, are there any just y's? No, so we just write it down. And are there any just x squared? Nope, so we just write it down. That's it. Okay, now we have 8x minus 4v minus 4v squared. Do we have any, 8x, any x's? No. Any just v's? Nope. Any just v squared? Nope. So when it's already simplified, we can just say simplest form. It's already in simplest form. So I'm done. That's it. Okay, now my first variable combination here is AB. Are there any other ABs? Yep, right here. So we're going to circle all my ABs. So what's 17 minus 5? It's 12. And then your variable stays the same. So it's 12AB plus 6B. Now, some people might think these are alike, but because this doesn't have an A, they are not like terms, so I can't add these together. I can only combine like terms. So circle your answer. That's it. Okay, now look here. We have D to the third power. Any other D to the third powers? No. We have D squared. Any other D squared? No. We have just D. Any just plain old Ds? Nope. So this is already in simplest form. So write simplest Okay, let's practice down below. So turn the page. Okay, we have just plain old A. Is this just plain old A? Yes, I can combine those. So 17A plus 21A is 38 A. Now notice we aren't doing anything to the variable. Okay, we aren't changing the variable. We're just counting it up. Okay, 16y, is this just a y? Yes, so we can combine those. 16 minus 5 is 11y. Okay, and, and this is, some are saying, well, why has nothing happened to the variable? Well, think of it this way. 17 apples plus 21 apples. Well, you have 38 apples. Okay, uh, 16 yams minus 5 yams. You take 5 yams away, you're still going to have 11 yams. So you're not changing what it is you're taking away or adding. Just combining it. Okay, so 3a minus a. Now, there's no coefficient here, so what do we really call it? A 1. So what's 3 minus 1? 2, and keep the variable the same, so 2a. That's it. Let's look down below. Okay, we have x. Do we have something else that has just plain old x? We sure do. Now, there's no coefficient here. Put in a 1. What's 1 plus 4? 5x. And then I bring down my minus xy. Now, I cannot combine these because this is an x and this is xy. Okay, now I have 7b. 
Do I have any other plain old b's? Yep, right next to it. So what's 7 minus 5? 2, and then put the b. So 2b plus 2ab. Now, these are not like terms, so that's my final answer. Okay, any b squareds? Nope. Any just b's? Yes, we have two here. So we have 7b minus 5b. Now, I didn't do anything to the b squared, so let's write that down. And what's 7b minus 5b? 3b. And since it's positive 3b, I'm going to write plus 3b. And I cannot combine these because this is b squared and this is b. They have to be the same letter and same exponent to combine them. All right, let's look at number seven. We have b squared. We have b squared, so we can combine those. What's 12 minus 8? So it's 4b squared. And we don't have anything to combine the 6b with, so just write 6b. And that is my final answer. Now, number 8, we have some parentheses. So I need to distribute first. So we have 4 times 6, so we have 24 x minus 4 times 2x, which is 8x, plus 4 times 4y, which is 16y. Now, I could have combined like terms before I distributed, but I didn't. In this case, I distributed. Now I can combine like terms. It doesn't matter what order I do that in. It'll still come out the same. So 24 minus 8 is 16x, and then bring down your 16y. And I cannot combine these. X and Y are not the same variable, so I can't combine those. Okay, the last one, A squared. Any A squareds? No. Any just plain A's? Nope. Any plain B squareds? Nope. So this is already in simplest form. Simplest form. There we go, simplest form. Okay, that concludes our notes on distributive review and combining like terms. I hope you have a great day.